Hey there, I get this question all the time of what I use to store my cards. So I just got a new binder in the mail from a company called Top Deck, this one right here, and it is huge. So I thought I'd do a quick product review of this binder as well as what I use to store some of my stuff because people ask me. And uh, so to start off, I've moved away from the nine card sleeves because what happens in binders is sometimes when they're stored, these cards get bent a little bit. So there's something called binder bite, <laughs> if you will. So sometimes I can hurt the sides of the card. So I have moved to side loading folders. So uh, I keep a lot of my Lord of the Rings stuff in the Card Guardian. This stores, I think, 504 cards. This is something that uh, is a side loading binder. You can kind of see here. Uh, it's nice because the cards are loaded in on the side. So you don't really have that same uh, pressure being put over here from the rings. So this is kind of what it looks like. This is about 25 to $30. So this is pretty affordable, uh, it zips up. Uh, the material on here is not leather. It's a little bit, I don't know, kind of felty, but I think these look nice. Uh, they store 504 cards, which is kind of what I needed for uh, the Lord of the Rings uh, foil sets. So the next I want to show off the Z Folio, which is sort of been my go-to. I have maybe six or seven of these. This is from a company called BCW. Uh, so this is a four by three here. So this is how I have my Lord of, or Star Wars CCG foils. So you can kind of see here, this stores 480 cards. So I have my foil sets. You'll see some, you know, good stuff in here. Reflections too, all this sort of stuff. So I wanted to move my white border sets and black border sets for Premiere and some others. You'll see where I'm missing the Imperial Class Star Destroyer foil uh, here. But so I, I like this product. I like that they zip. I like that they store things. They look kind of nice. Um, but I wanted to up my game a little bit. So I got this. So this product, by the way, is about 30 to 35 and they come in a bunch of colors. So I have a range of colors in these. I think they're kind of fun. So the Z Folio, I think it's 12. So to upgrade, so this was a three by three, right? We look at size. This is a four by three. And this one here, which I just got in the mail, is literally a four by four. I'm gonna unzip this off camera because it's so big. But this <laughs> stores a thousand cards. So I just got this, and as you can see, you have a four by four, so you can get 16 cards on each page. So there's enough room here to store about, I think it's exactly a thousand cards, maybe a thousand and four or something. Um, but I wanna, my plan is to put, you know, black border premiere, white border premiere on each page, so it kinda looks nice visually. Uh, this was a little more expensive. <laughs> it's just to be transparent about cost. This is about an $80 product. So I uh, splurged on this. I wanted to see if I liked this before buying more. Uh, and just kind of looking at the quality here, I really like the way it feels. It's got a nice sort of, um, this isn't quite leather, but kind of like a textured feel, textured leather, textured sort of pleather. Uh, the zipper is kind of nice here. So all these zip close, which I think is just a nice feature. Um, so this is from Top Deck and is about I said $80. <laughs> so this is definitely more expensive, but mathematically it stores twice the amount of cards as the Z folio. So if you're buying this for, you know, 30 to 35 for 480 cards, this for $80, which is the more I say it, the more I'm like, oh, I can't believe I did that. But I think this looks really nice. Uh, I'm going to put my sets in here and see how it is uh, and sort of how it feels. So I'm hoping to do Premiere and A New Hope. Uh, so between the white side, or, uh, white border and, and black border, you're talking about like almost 970 cards. So it should all fit in here. And I think visually it should look pretty nice as well. So uh, that's one of the projects for this upcoming weekend, but uh, pretty impressed with the quality of this product. It feels nice, it's well-made. I guess it'll be interesting to see, you know, how it looks when it's stuffed with cards, but this comes in a range of colors. I think this is the Celeste color. So just doing a size comparison here one last time. So a thousand cards, 480. And then this one, which is the cheapest product from Card Guardian, stores I think 504. Um, I don't regret getting these. I like these. I think they look nice and there's some good colors, but I think if I would have known about 
this, I probably would have just gotten these for the foil sets rather than these. Um, I think with a lot of these <clears throat> different sets, they come in awkward numbers. And so finding the right binders can be a real challenge. So these are just three products I use. Uh, if I could go back in time, I might just have invested only in these and not in you know four of these, six of these. <laughs> but here we are. Uh, so hopefully that's helpful. That's the Celeste Blue from Top Deck. It stores a thousand cards and I'm looking forward to using this thing. So hopefully that's helpful. Feel free to drop me a question if you have more, uh, you know, questions about how I store the collection and, you know, how I do it. Uh, I usually put everything in a sort of close-knit fit sleeve and then a sleeve over that and then put it in. So everything is really safe for long-term storage. Uh, excited to try this giant binder out, which I definitely splurged on. So thanks everybody and I'll see you next time.